Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and look what I have for you today, something totally different, a wall, a brick effect project. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool and realistic looking wall uh, made from bricks, so I hope you will enjoy it. Grab some coffee or maybe sit at your desk in your studio and create with me a really great idea, great hack for future projects, so I hope you will enjoy it, I hope you will join me. Let's do it! A brick wall effect, it could be done in so many ways. I have a cardboard here, a cardboard, chipboard, something like this. And it's a basically a leftover. I'm sure you have some cardboard pieces around the house from cornflakes or from um, just bar boxes uh, at home. And they could be a perfect uh, to use for building your 3D dimensional looking wall. <laughs> I'm gonna show you and try to show you how to make a, like a brick looking wall. Uh, I'm preparing my pieces right now. Uh, they're not even, of course they're not even. They're pretty much similar but uh, they don't don't stress yourself if if they are not that perfect because if you look at the wall, especially the old looking, they're not even they're not perfect so I I, uh, I I'm sure it would be fine by putting something similar looking to the wall so that's what I'm gonna do now I will use my hot glue to stick down those pieces and to play with them you can we can actually you know what probably go for uh, two pieces in a row yeah something like that to make our life faster and easier probably isn't it so uh, not enough not enough glue there but that's okay <laughs> mm -hmm. now this will be I hope kind of old looking wall so there we go. So if you have any like things that are not even on the on the cardboard, that's okay because you know maybe there's some moss growing, maybe there are things growing on that wall. So as you can tell, basically what I'm trying to do right now is I am adding those pieces um, and I'm playing with the you see the direction of the pieces going. So it's opposite uh, you know kind of opposite to each other in each line so that's what you should do to make the wall looking <laughs> like a wall okay oops now again if you're playing with the glue gun be very gentle be very careful you you could burn yourself and we don't want that so be very careful now you could of course use any glue you have to uh, use and to just play around with it. You can use gel medium, you can use print stick, you can use anything really. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that looks really really well, really really good. And again the, di the distance between them it doesn't have to be so perfect because old walls they sometimes not, they're not perfect because they're old they are um, with some holes and pieces falling down so you know you don't have to have it super done I think the less perfect the better I believe so that's this that's this that's this and now kind of last part here no Mm -hmm. I like that. I think I'm gonna make a bigger, bigger space here, purposely, kind of like that. Super. So we have our brick, just like that, made from cardboard. Now it's time to make this. Uh, now it's time to make this uh, even more looking like a wall, like a brick wall. I have some deli paper here, and I was thinking to add some deli paper on top of 
on top of our bricks so to make this looking you know more or less uh, not so perfect and not so uh, not so perfect on the surface on top so a deli paper could be a great way of doing so and what I will use right now is I'm gonna use a Mod Podge just a ordinary Mod Podge to add, to add, uh, to add my to add my um, I love the smell of Mod Podge actually <laughs> to add my tissue paper as you can see my daily paper tissue paper however you want to call it and I'm just gonna be uh, gently adding this on top of my on top of my uh, wall on top of my bricks now if things will like here I, I don't mind if they if I kind of destroy them that's even better if you can see because that way we still have our super important uh, irregularities and bricks so it's okay if things are <coughs> If you're gonna kept on, um, in a way, destroying the the daily paper, that's all fine. As you can see, that's all fine. I'm just adding a little extra glue somewhere where it's not there, so you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. Same for here. Uh huh. And we have this lovely looking. Uh, well, <laughs> basically, I think it's a great idea and great to know how to make a wall because you can make the project, you can make this for any project and instead of using like, uh, like I don't know, uh, modeling paste or things on top to make the brick effect, you can basically use deli paper. That's pretty, pretty good, isn't it? And there we go. That really does look well, I have to say, and very realistic, I think, very, very much realistic looking. So I'm going to lift that a little bit again, so to be able to stick some more deli paper underneath, uh, uh, m more glue under the deli paper. Now, even more here. Mm -hmm. and you can you know add it there but again the less perfect the better I, I believe and same for oh I think we need a little more glue there now same for on the sides so that's how it looks right now with the deli paper you can easily see how well this looks I like the wrinkles and the effect uh, it looks really really good to me. I'm gonna dry this, let this to dry and then I'm gonna come back to you. Mm, I was thinking as well to seal the whole project, the whole piece with a touch of uh, Moth Podge and the reason behind it is because when I will do it I, I hope that I will be able to, it will be just easier to paint for me. Um, I, I hope so, I hope so because I will be mixing all sorts of paints as you can see the colors and I think it would be nice if if my surface is prepared that way that means I can just clean off because Mod Podge will dry and it will be like a good uh, cover surface it will be like um, not the primer it's, it will be like a sealer so it will allow me to add uh, colors and wash off if I feel like it so I think that's a great idea to to start off so I'm adding nice amount of Mod Podge on top and now I'm gonna I'm gonna dry this I'm gonna open my paints I have some paints here uh, they kind of colors for walls as you can see uh, you can try to use paints you have around your house that's what I suggest <laughs> that would be good that would be good to use so I have all sorts of browns and uh, beiges colors and stuff so you can work your magic with the colors you have your wall doesn't have to look very like a wall either you can make it maybe more a different color a more magical wall I don't know um, my wall is is dry. I love the 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 vi veins here and the irregularities that gives this really really real <laughs> looking effect and I have my paints open so I'm gonna just you know what uh, it's funny because I'm gonna be 
purely improvising here guys really I mean <laughs> very much very much so and and I let's let's just go for it let's just improvise together and see how things are gonna be basically and because I I'm not too sure what colors I could should kind of play with to make this look <laughs> To make this look like a wall but you know what it just gives you an idea of, of, of possibilities i'm just checking the colors right now actually it gives you the idea of the possibilities of what could be done and things like that so i think it's just nice to see it you know all, all together nice to see it i need some water because i'm working with no water at all and maybe i just need a little touch yeah I have this dirty water next to me. That that will do. That will do. And yeah, so I can have my things going in between the the lines as well. You know, it's already looking very good to me. <laughs> it really does. Oh, that's a kind of poopy color. So no, we don't like the poopy colors. No, I skipped that poopy color. So yes, we have our brick wall. I love that. I really have to say, I really, really love this. Oh, and the black look always gives this nice touch of whatever, of something. <laughs> to, to every project that I make, black is the color. There is this song in Irish. Um, what's his name? I've, in some video ages ago, I had the same kind of feeling for the, this song when I said, black is the color. Da -de -da -de -da. And I love that song. I didn't hear it for ages. It's a probably every Irish person knows that uh, song. I'm guessing. Um, what's his name? Moore? No, I would have to Google it. I checked it. It's Christy Moore. Black is the color. Have a have a look, and take a video from a concert because uh, it's just sensational. This gentleman is just amazing. Um, so yeah, black is the color. And uh, now I'm gonna wipe it off and see what will happen. Oh, there we go. You see, that's what I was talking about. The the mod podge kind of helped us in 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 a way of um of what's the word of preparing our surface of keeping our surface um, um, primed sealed and I can now add more paint and I can wash it off and I'm in pure love with that guys look at this wall like isn't it just amazing as it is and I didn't really try much I have to say <laughs> I didn't try much I think I'm gonna add a little more brown just a little more brown because brick is a brick so it should be more maybe more brownish but I I just love that and I'm gonna concentrate on having my black maybe in the lines in there kind of ish <clears throat> in there so yes I hope you will try that song and have a look um, it's it's beautiful song it's really it's probably one of the first songs I heard and fell in love with and just um, yeah when I came to Ireland 12 years ago so uh, good memories with that song most definitely good good memories of all times when I came to Ireland and I was working in the nightclubs uh, as a um, bartender uh, in the restaurants in the hotels basically and I study hospitality management in Ireland I went to um, to school to kind of um, I don't know to I thought it's gonna be my career basically because I figured if I'm working in the hotels that could be that could be a good option for me so ah oh, it's a long story there's a lot of stories I could tell you but <laughs> maybe next time maybe next time let's concentrate on our wall here so this is what we have I'm gonna give it a, a quick uh, dry so it's not completely dry but it's a little dry so now I I can probably go over with my tissue again and just uh, and chase the the, the 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 bricks basically I have to say I'm loving this you know I, I was tempted to try it off camera beforehand and just uh, you know come back to you when saying oh I've done this and I'm gonna show you how to do it but I you know me I love kind of <laughs> if it's not gonna work 
it's awesome if it's not gonna work together on, on the camera so so I didn't do it I thought you know I'm gonna do it just with you right now and we see how the things will go and how it's gonna work out for us so I'm pleased with the effect with the result and I'm really enjoying it and what a great idea for if you have a project and you can do your background like that imagine canvas with a brick effect kind of wall and you have a garden uh, some secret garden or something something so you know it's it could be a great way to uh, to incorporate this into your project I absolutely love that as you can tell I'm not having white fish everywhere I'm just actually going so we have like kind of zigzagish kind you know I'm trying to make this realistic looking zigzagish <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna call it done because I'm afraid that if I'm gonna keep on cleaning or keep on doing things here, I'm gonna basically make this looking bad in any way, so in some way. So I'm afraid I I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that it does stay and look like a brick effect. So I think I'm happy with that result. I hope it was uh, helpful, and this trick and tip. A, a, a craft hack <laughs> will be helpful for your pro future projects uh, very simple easy not much cost oh yeah and the paints I'm using those are watercolor based uh, they're like consistency of acrylics but they're actually water based so that's why it's easier for me to wash off but if you would use acrylics and if you be fast enough you can still wipe off things from the from the project and especially if you use Mod Podge underneath it um, or gel medium but you could it could be harder with gel medium to to make your pay um, to make your paint stick it will work but have a try for yourself uh, you not necessarily have to have everything I've used try to work your magic with the tools that you have in the house right now so this is my brick wall finished I call it finished I love I'm loving it and I hope you liked it too and I hope it looks like a brick wall does it I, I'm not sure how it's in the camera in the reality it looks really really good uh, so yes thank you so much and I hope to come up come back with uh, some other effects for you maybe maybe I'm not telling you actually. I have some idea in my head. <laughs> so thanks for, for thanks for watching. I'll chat to you super soon. Bye. Bye bye.